All right, so this video is also about simultaneity. It relates a lot to the, the last one, the lightning strike one. Um, but I think this one's actually a little easier to wrap your head around and is a pretty good sort of explanation of um, why simultaneity is relative. So let's say that we've got a situation where we have some lasers. So here's a laser, um, and this can shoot a laser to the left or to the right. Let's say it's at the center of this room or train car, whatever you want to think about, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Um, and there are clocks at the ends of this room. So in order to synchronize these clocks, right, let's say they have exactly, um, they're, they're the exact same kind of clock, they're built the same way, um, but to synchronize them, what we can do, since we know that they are an equal distance from the center of the train, is we can send out laser pulses simultaneously to the left and to the right. And the clocks can be set up so that they start ticking when they receive the laser pulse. So what happens is um, we send out a light pulse this way, we send out a light pulse that way, the light pulses travel, travel, and they both arrive at the clocks simultaneously. So the clocks start ticking at the same time, right? Um, nothing too confusing there. But if we view this room from a reference frame that observes is moving, then things get a little tricky, right? So let's just say that you have some observer that is moving relative to this room. So let's say that that observer actually sees the room as moving to the right, right? So in this situation, this sort of outside observer might have been moving to the left relative to the room. Maybe they're on a skateboard or something. I don't know why I like skateboards so much. Skating by the room. Choo. So what they're going to observe, right, these are each different times. So the skateboarder is further to the left each time. That skateboarder is going to observe the room moving to the right past them. So let's say that those laser pulses are trigg triggered uh, simultaneously. Right, once the lasers are triggered, that's kind of a bad drawing, the laser pulses are gonna move out um, at equal speed, right, the speed of light to the left and to the right. So sometime later, right, the pulses should travel the same distance away from that gun. This one is basically gonna be at the clock already, whereas this other one, right, will have moved over a little bit, but um, the clock has moved away from it, right? So the laser started from, right, they both started from here, but now the train has moved, right? So the clock has actually moved closer to this pulse, right, the back clock, the left clock, but the right clock has moved farther away from this pulse, right? So that pulse is going to take a while to catch up to the clock after this one has already been uh, hit by the laser. So what that means is this clock here, it will, actually, it will actually have started ticking before this clock receives the pulse. So what that means here is that this clock is actually gonna be running uh, ahead of schedule, sort of compared to this clock. And these two clocks will not actually be synchronized according to that skateboarder. Right, that skateboarder actually sees the clocks ticking out of sync with each other. This clock will be ahead of time compared to this one. Whereas in the reference frame of the room, right, if you were in here, in this room, not moving relative to the room, well then you see that the light travels the same distance to each clock. So if the pulses are emitted at the same time, the clock should start at the same time, they will be synchronized. So someone who's actually in this room, not moving relative to those clocks, will observe the clocks as ticking in sync. Whereas someone who is you know, moving by the room, who observes the room is moving, will actually see the clocks as ticking out of sync. So this is just sort of another thought experiment that shows that this concept of simultaneity is totally relative. So two clocks might be synchronized in one reference frame, but not synchronized in another reference frame. 
Um, notice though that both of them agree, right, that the emission of the lasers, which are assumed to be two events happening in the same place at the same time, right, the triggering initially of turning on the lasers, those were simultaneous in both, both frames. Um, the thing that's not simultaneous is when the lasers get to the clocks, right? The lasers reaching the clocks were simultaneous in this frame, but not simultaneous in the frame where the clocks were moving.